Hello, Nancy Mazo at NotablyNancy at gmail.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I want to say Happy New Year 2020. And what I want to talk about today is maybe it's 2020 and you are thinking about a new career in ESL online teaching. Okay, and I want to help you today really think about and consider if this is a good option for you. And when we get started, I have five things that we'll think about, five considerations to help you to start to really think about making a decision. Okay, first a little bit about me. I'm Nancy Mazo. I've been teaching since 1980, from early childhood to pre-university. I'm also a mentor for new teachers and I'd really like to help you. I began my ESL online career two years ago at retirement because I said, I've been teaching for 38 years. I'm not going to give it up. I love it. And how can I continue teaching in a way that works for me, my family, my schedule? So I love it. And I want to really explore the options with you because it could be that it would be like an amazing career choice for you also. Okay, so number one, I want to say you can teach ESL online according to your schedule. For example, you might be a stay-at-home mom. You might be homeschooling. So this is something you can do in hours that you choose from your home. You might be working at a school. You might be working another job and love teaching. So you could do this within the context of what you're already doing, or you could do it full time. But I do want to say, because I'm really for honest reporting, that it wouldn't be a realistic expectation to think that you're going to get hired drop everything and work in this full time. It does take time to um, get regular students and it, it takes time to work up to a regular schedule if that's just what you decide you want to do. Okay, so considerations. Number one, do you have a BA? Are you an American or Canadian citizen or you have permission to work in the US or Canada and with relevant teaching experience? Now, what I want you to know is you're, for the company I work for, your teaching experience does not need to be formal. It could be informal. Maybe you have a, a church group of kids that you mentor or maybe you're doing homeschooling. All that counts toward your experience. Okay, number two is in order to run whatever platform that your company is running, you need your computer to be up to certain specifications. And I'm not gonna go into what those specifications are now, but we will cover that in later videos. But you have to kind of think if you have like an old, computer and you're interested in going into this, you would have to know that it would be an investment on your part to upgrade your computers, your headsets, your cameras, everything you need so that you can run the platform. Okay, next, do you have time to go through the hiring process and get prepared and prepare your materials? Now, I've seen information out there that says like, Oh, start this. You don't need to prepare. You don't need to do anything. Just jump in. The lessons are made for you. Okay. X, not true. I'm a teacher with tons of experience, but in order to be prepared, you have to realize that you are going to spend some time getting ready and preparing, especially through the hiring process. For my company, there are interviews, there are walkthroughs, there are demo lessons, and and it takes time to feel ready and prepare for that. So just have in your mind that you will need time. It does, it's not like you jump on the camera and you're ready. Okay, lastly, 
d think about if you have a spot in your home that you can um, dedicate to this. You don't need it. Some teachers set up and take it down every day on their dining room table, but if, you're gonna, if you'll be doing it long term, it's great if you have a little corner. Um, in, in videos that come up, I'll show you my little corner. You wouldn't believe how small it is. People do it in their laundry room. People do it in a walk-in closet. But just think about a place that you can teach and not be disturbed. So let's go over again what the considerations are. Okay, number one, do you have the qualifications? Number two, um, are you willing to upgrade your equipment if your equipment's not upgraded? Okay, do you have time to go through the hiring process and prepare materials and really feel like you're ready? And next, do you have a spot in your home that you can dedicate? If you do, I think it's a great consideration for you. I love it. I'd be happy to help you through the process. That's what I do. And I want to wish you luck and Happy New Year and good luck making your decision. And I hope if this is right for you that you'll get there. You've got this. You can do it. And I'll see you again next week in the next video. Great job. Think about it. Bye. Oh, and if you have any questions in the meantime, you're welcome to email me here at notablynancy at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to get back to you and help you with any clarifications. Okay, bye. See you in the next video. Have a great week.